start date August 20th, 2024, Chief Medical Officer Dr. Posca, supplemental log. At 2100, all pirates on the planet had returned to the Anubis. The senior staff was updated to the events involving security and engineering representatives on the planet, specifically in regards to taking hostile fire from reported Tholians inside of an abandoned mine. A Tellarite was reported to be within the group, and using sensors, Commander McBride and myself located this individual trying to board a shuttle. The captain of the ship denied the presence of the individual, and we had to manipulate the situation. I told the captain that this Tellarite was in fact detected on his ship and is likely to be drenched in significant radiation that could be potentially lethal to the crew. This caused a panic and the crew left the ship, but the Tellarite attempted to commandeer the ship. Myself and Commander McBride beamed to the surface immediately and were able to get into the ship before takeoff. Commander McBride was then able to break through the cockpit door and stun the Tellarite. However, we suffered a catastrophic failure of the computer system and had to use Morse code to communicate with the assistance of an additional shuttle and use a tractor beam to get back into the Anubis safely. Once aboard, an interrogation of the Tellarite began. We used a true serum and found that the Tellarite was working for Starfleet Intelligence and had been monitoring the Tholians for some time. At this point, a strength of two regiments, or approximately 2,000 men, was on planet. We formulated a plan to negotiate with Tholians under the discretion of Commander McBride. The Tholians claimed Dryon 6 as part of their territory and it intended to enslave the local population for manual labor. After further discussion, we reached an agreement that we would return to negotiate further terms. Rear Admiral Morris took commentary from the senior staff aboard the Anubis. There was an internal division amongst the staff. Commander McBride advocated that only the Federation should be present and decided that the negotiations should proceed without the Dryons or the Klingons. I advocated a joint venture so that the Dryons would see clearly that we were dealing what they were dealing with by working with the Klingons and the Tholians, and that they may more clearly see the Federation as their best option. However, there was a feeling of indecision, and as a result, I withdrew my request in favor of the seniority of Commander McBride. The delegation went down, and after approximately 90 minutes, a severely wounded security officer returned, and we were not able to stabilize him on site, requiring that we leave the planet and return to the Anubis immediately. Once aboard, we did manage to save the officer, but upon updating the captain, we were informed by the officer that the Tholians wanted the Federation to leave the planet, and that if we did not, they would execute the rear admiral. Captain Mean stated that we were not going to leave, and that we were going to perform a rescue operation. We are now on the verge of battle. I've spoken with the engineering department about taking photon torpedoes down to the surface as a dead man switch and as a means to separate the Tholians from the rear admiral and so that a rescue attempt could occur. We're still in the process of working out the details and are on the way to the senior staff emergency meeting to go over potential plans to rescue rear admiral Marcus.